seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. What's going on, everybody? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another fantasy boxing matchup. And you guys have been asking for this one. A lot of you wanted to see Apollo Creed going up against James Clubberlang. And we have it here, right here, right now on YouTube. And what we're doing here, we're doing things a little bit differently. Today I'm sitting up in the booth. I won't be in the ring today. We're going to be just letting the AI duke it out and see who would win if these guys ever had to fight. And if you've seen the Rocky movies, holy smokes, you know, both of these guys had their verbal jabbers back and forth. And you almost thought that they were going to fight in future Rocky movies, but they never ended up doing that. And we're going to see who's going to win right here. <laughs> and I created both of these guys, and they look pretty good, man. I have a revamped James Clubber Lang right here, as you can see, and um, he looks pretty good. As far as both of these guys, holy smokes, man. You guys know it. They both had success against good old Rocky Balboa. You know, as far as Apollo Creed, he ended up beating Rocky. Remember that? by split decision in the first movie oh yeah spoiler alert um, ended up losing against Rocky three years later because the first fight was actually in 1976 but then 1979 15th round KO loss Apollo Creed against Balboa um, it was pretty crazy but now as far as Clubber Lang he's he dispatched Rocky Balboa in only two rounds in 1982. Yeah, man, that was just crazy to see. When I saw the movie for the first time and saw Rocky go down that easily, I was totally shocked, man. Even though it was a movie, as a kid, it felt so real, like I was watching a real fight. But don't you worry, you Rocky fans, man. He, re he redeemed himself in the second fight, destroying Clubber Lang um, in the third round, I believe it was. And it was pretty crazy. But let's see these two guys go at it again. Both of these guys were going back and forth in the movies. And it's kind of disappointing that they didn't actually square off and fight. But right here, we got Creed laying the business with uh, some decent output to start things off. And the thing is with, uh, with Clubber Lang, Mr. T, you know, I made him with um, some decent power, man. Really good power. So if he lands, it's going to be problems for Creed. So Creed, he needs to get on his bicycle. He can't be getting hit with those stationary shots, with those power shots, those uppercuts. He's got to be so careful. <laughs> and this is just so cool to see. You know, because like I said, I was anticipating them to square off in, 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 a, in a battle, and it never happened. But it, in my honest opinion, I, I think I would... Still give Creed the nod on paper, but you just never know. Power advantage definitely, definitely to Lang. But right here, what we're seeing, we're seeing this AI version of Creed just going nuts with the shots. But it looks like Lang, <laughs> he's not too phased by those shots. And I've always said that, you know, Lang is really good at dishing it out, but he's not really that good at taking it. You know what I mean? So if you can pressure him, if you can really... Um, you know, hit him up with some shots, he's going to fold eventually. But what we're seeing here, we're seeing some great head movement by Lang. Leaning back and trying to counter with a big bomb. Nice little shot to the, the ribs. You see that? Right to the liver right there. But Creed is giving him a taste of his own medicine with some nasty head movement. And he's pushing forward. Looking to counter fight as well. And this is crazy. This is just like the movies. And I know a lot of you guys say, man, when I do these Rocky matchups... You know, a lot of you guys say, Ricky, you got it wrong. Because most of these guys in the movies, they don't block with their gloves. <laughs> they block with their face. <laughs> and that is so true. I would always get so frustrated with Rocky Balboa in the beginning of every fight. When he would just, like, keep his hands down and just eat shots, you know. It's just so funny. But it, it made for exciting, exciting um, cinematic fights, if you know what I mean. But right here... In this matchup, you got to give the edge to Creed and, and let me know in the comments and I would love to hear it. Just based on what you've seen in the movies, who do you think would take it in this matchup between Creed and Lang? Right here, what we're seeing, we're seeing Creed not giving any respect to the power of Lang just staying in his face, throwing great shots. Oh, he's got to be careful though. And if you look at Creed's stamina, <laughs> his stamina on the left was going down he was still throwing punches 
But when you do like an AI matchup like this, I really feel like in this game, Fight Night Champion, I know it's old. Creed's looking pretty confident, by the way. Um, you know, you you really see them duke it out in a in a very realistic way, in my opinion. I don't know if you guys, if you've seen in EA Sports UFC, when you do an AI matchup, especially in EA Sports UFC 3, they kind of stand around and kind of buffer and download the data. In this, it's action, man. It's action back and forth. They're going at it. And look at this, Clubber Lang switching up. Apollo needing to get on his bicycle. Oh, big bomb right there. Forcing Lang to moonwalk a little bit. And in my opinion, even though we're seeing Creed with the uh, early advantage, this is anybody's fight, brother. And you guys know it, man. This is anyone's fight. And in this game, sometimes the AI tends to get a little reckless with their shots, especially when they're um, having a little success. Nice shot to the body right there. So if both guys get carried away, they're going to leave themselves wide open for a counter fight. Oh, speaking of counter, nice hook right there. Rear hook. And Creed looking confident. You know Balboa's in his corner for sure. Oh, man. Oh, he's staying in his face. Again, you got to respect the power of Lang. But Lang's... Oh, he keeps on missing. And he's the shorter of the two. So he's not going to have that reach advantage. And he's still trying to march forward. <laughs> trying to hit him with shots. <laughs> But Creed's looking good, man. Creed's looking good. I like how this Apollo Creed, man, is staying on the outside, forcing Lang to just get the short end of those punches. He's not really landing much. And um, it's all because Apollo Creed is staying on that outside, establishing the center of the ring. Oh, and he's trying to slow the pace down a little bit. But what you got to be mindful, though, the pace of Apollo Creed. See that stamina going down? The pace that he's putting on right here. We have 12 rounds. And you know in the Rocky movies, they usually set it to like a 15 round marathon. But I'm like, I don't want to make this video over an hour long in case it does go the distance. So we're going 12. But at this rate, you know, I don't know if it's going to even go 10. <laughs> but nice little sneaky head movement right there. Creed doing a nice job managing his distance, then getting inside. This is where he has to be careful, though. Lang's power is is nasty. You know, to dispatch <laughs> Balboa in only two rounds, man. You know, he's got some sick, sick power, and I, and, I, and I gave him that power. And maybe we'll see it here on display in this matchup, but he's taking bombs, oh, man. He is marching forward, looking to land that big shot, and he's eating shots, forcing that health bar to go down a little bit. And I like what Clubber's doing right here. He's kind of getting into that shell, and that is the round. See that? He, his round, his corner, excuse me, is telling him that he's losing the round. He really needs to just get on that inside there and force Creed to kind of fight inside. There's a nice uppercut by Lang. And the thing is, what we're seeing here, we're seeing Lang with a slight stamina advantage. Doesn't have that health advantage, but if he could avoid getting hit with bombs and force Creed to kind of miss, you know, he could do some good things. Oh, good head movement. It's the length of Apollo that's Really helping him here. But again, <laughs> if you've been watching these crazy fantasy matchups, you know wacky things have happened. Oh, a nice hook right there by Apollo, but he did eat a shot. And it just seems like already Lang is getting a little frustrated. And Apollo's utilizing that jab nicely. I would like to see Lang kind of use his jab a little bit. He's not really throwing that jab out there. You know, that jab is really giving Creed that opportunity to um, keep his distance. Oh, but what's this? Creed's hurt. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Wacky things go on in this game. I always say the fight is never in the bag. 
until the final bell is rung or the referee stops it. And right there, Lang is really proving that right here. Oh, nice. Good job by Creed. Just to kind of fire back, just to slow the pace down for Lang. Because you know Lang is looking. He smells blood, man. He smells blood in the water. He's looking to continue to hurt Creed. And every time you hurt your guy, your opponent like that, you know that's going to soften up the chin, man. You know that's going to soften up the chin and open up more opportunities. And you got to say, this is a fantastic job that Lang is doing here in this third round after, in my opinion, dropping the first two rounds, but then coming back nicely. But again, I don't know how the um, the AI judges um, reward for guys to um, kind of rock their opponents like that. It was, and again, it wasn't a drop. And Creed's coming back strong right here. Look at this. Creed looking to erase that little rock. And Lang doing a nice job just kind of putting that poker face on, trying to back away, getting into his shell, trying to regroup right here. But we're seeing a, a great job by Creed just battling right back. And it's kind of too bad that <laughs> we couldn't see these guys go at it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you never know in future movies. There's always hope, man. I know. There's always hope. A crazy round. And again, the stamina game is so important at this point. Ooh, the judges gave round three to Creed. I guess you could say because of that output. He was firing the jab. A lot of quick strikes. Doing a fantastic job just scoring. But the thing is, look at that stamina, boys. That Creed stamina is not looking good. If you're a Creed fan, you know, you do have those those first three rounds in the bag. But how much gas does he have left in the tank? And this could be <laughs> Lang's ultimate strategy. <laughs> He's pulling a Mayweather against McGregor. Being okay with dropping, you know, the first bunch of rounds. And then looking to come back as his opponent slows down. But nice counter right there. But Creed looking like he just left the Mandarin, man. <laughs> Doesn't he? He looks slow. He looks like he just can't walk to the car. <laughs> you ever get like that? Man. Hoping, hoping one day I can return to the Mandarin. But I used to get like that going to the Mandarin. I know I'm sidetracking on tangents. But I would eat too much. And then I would almost be unable to walk to the car. <laughs> it would be the same posture that Creed is showcasing here. Just staggering around. Too many bowls, man. Too many bowls, too many plates. But again, we're already reaching the point where it's one big counter bomb that's going to change things here. Who's going to be the first guy to land it? Nice uppercut by Creed. And good job using that jab. Using that jab and backing away. Not engaging in a, in a little too much. Understanding his strengths. And I I'm really impressed with the AI here because Clubber is doing what he does. Getting in there. A lot of round strikes. A lot of hooks. Look at this. Oh, good head movement. And now he's trying to target the body. Clubber. Both... <laughs> what am I trying to say? I was going to say Clubber bringing his A-game, but both guys bringing his A-game. But he's got to watch out. Those punches come slow, man. Especially when you're tired. I don't know if anybody of you box on the side, but I used to box train all the time at a gym. And when you get tired, it almost feels like you're punching underwater. It really is tough, man. It really is tough when you reach this point. But then if you have good conditioning... The cool thing is, is that second and third win could hit you, and you could be as fresh as a daisy, and it'll come when you least expect it. Right here we have 13 seconds, and I used to get that too, man. I used to play high-level basketball in high school and in college. Can you believe it? And um, I would always kind of be exhausted after the first quarter. And then something would click in just after that first quarter where I would get that second win. So I got smart. You know what I did before each game? I would run on the treadmill 
for like 15, 20 minutes before each game because I wanted to gain that second wind right when the game began, not when the game was a quarter over, if you know what I mean. So that's what I would do. Run for 20 minutes, get a big sweat on, then when the game would start, I would already be ready with that second win. Let me know if any of you athletes would used to do that. I don't know why, it just worked. And then I could go for days, but just getting those lungs, you know, working, getting that oxygen in you, would tire you out in the beginning. But here we go, round five. And again, what we're seeing now, we're seeing that stamina game getting a little even here now. Oh, <laughs> big bomb. <laughs> and Lang's got to be careful loading up at those shots. Because again, if you're one... Oh, I was going to say, I gave power to Creed as well. And look at Creed's stamina. He's hulking up. Wow, there was a moment right there, the adrenaline. I guess he got hit with the adrenaline right there in his favor and he had a lot of stamina to kind of work and kind of drop Lang but he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity nice and again he's hurting him but look at that that big burst by Creed has made him exhausted and now both guys lumbering around both guys looking like like I said they've exited Mandarin after eating <laughs> double digit plates and let's see who is going to capitalize? Nice straight right there by Lang. Marching forward, sidestepping, looking to load up to the body. And this is so funny, man. Um, just because this is exactly how I picture it being in the movies. Just both guys exhausted. Both guys having success with their forte. You know, Clubber Lang with those power shots. Creed using those straight long strikes, strikes, getting on his bike, hitting up language shots, both guys having their moments. Oh, nice shot to the gut. Need to be on the and you hear uh, Apollo's corner telling him you don't need to be on the inside, and he's listening. He's listening to his corner. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do, man, in any facet of fighting. You definitely got to listen to your corner. <laughs> Again, they could see it third person. They could see what you can't see, man, from the outside. Oh. The thing is, what I'm noticing right here, I'm noticing that Creed's having the success by being that counter fighter. He's got to continue doing that here. And Clubber, I haven't seen Clubber land much, you know, in the last few minutes here. And this is concerning. If you're a, a James Lang fan, it's kind of concerning just because he needs to he needs to slow Creed down, man. He, he needs to get that health down. That health on Creed's side is a little too high for the Lang camp. Oh, and he keeps on missing, loading up with those power shots. There he goes. But as this fight is nearing the halfway point, it's obviously competitive, like I said, but I got to give the advantage to Creed here. I got to give that advantage to Creed and doing a nice job just after getting rocked there, not getting hit with too many big bombs. <laughs> so here we go, <laughs> round six. <laughs> and let me know in the comments what other fantasy matchups you guys want to see. You know I always love doing this. And this is a little switch up, man. Usually I would saddle up using one of these guys. But sometimes it's cool just to see a simulation matchup. Just to let the AI duke it out. And I'll be honest with you. It's a, it's a good change for me just because being up in the booth, I don't have to worry too much about um, performing. You know what I mean? <laughs> But I like what I like what Creed's doing. Just fire that jab and move, bro. Fire that jab and move. Oh, he still has zip. That wild overhand. Still has zip. He's going with those power shots too, though, which I don't think is a good idea. Not at this point, Apollo. Not at this point. Uh oh, he's got to be careful. Well, Lang's got to keep on marching forward, in my opinion. He's got to keep on marching forward. Test that chin. And when he did test it, he was getting success. He's getting a lot of success. There he goes. 
There he goes, but he keeps on missing on those power shots. There he goes. More and more long strikes strikes for Lang is gonna do him good. Oh, a nice counter by Creed. And again, it gets to this point where you know both guys, their power has kind of gotten thrown out the window. So it's all about just placing your shots, man. Just touching your opponent. Oh, both guys at the same time going to the body. But this is where things could get a little dicey. Just because their stamina game's low. Their health game is alright. Especially Creed's health game. So he could take some chances. Knowing that his health is pretty high. But again, you... Oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> Both guys had windows to counter. Couldn't take advantage. But that's how it is, man. When you're at this point. In a fight. Guy... Oh, a nice uppercut. And that kind of... Stun Creed there for a second. Lang needs to do more of that in my opinion. He definitely needs to do more of that. Oh, a nice shot to the body. Yeah, speaking of body, maybe Lang needs to go to that body a little bit. There he goes. He needs to go to that body. That's another thing too. I think when you're an inside fighter, when you've reached this point in terms of your condition, I feel like it's easier. Let me know if you agree with that. To march forward with your block up and just be that counter fighter. I feel like when you're exhausted and you're trying to stay on the outside, it's a lot harder. And look, we're seeing that early. And we got to see more of that if you're a Lang fan. Man, he's got to march forward. And if you're in up there, nice. If you're Apollo. If you're on Team Apollo, he needs to just keep on moving. Establish the center of the ring. Not get stuck in the corner. Not get stuck against... Oh, nice. Not get stuck against the ropes. As we are dipping in to now the second half of this fight. Oh, nice uppercut. But again, they're pillow fighters at this point. Not a lot of <laughs> steam on those punches. <laughs> Both guys are exhausted. And you know it's funny, man? I can anticipate just like a crazy finish. When you get to this point where both guys are exhausted, it's unpredictable what could happen. And even though, you know, Creed, in my opinion, is winning this fight, I pretty much have Lang. I think he has maybe one round in the books. You just never know, man. He's not out of the fight. But both guys being a little tentative. Oh, as I say that, Creed starts throwing a mix, some mixed combos right there. Oh, a nice hook by Lang, but not a lot of steam on them. They're still, they're both trying to to land something, but. It's just, oh, oh, it's not happening. If I'm in Lang's corner, man, I would just open up. At this point, I don't see him winning on the cards, even though, you know, he could win the rest of the rounds here and maybe take a decision, but I would be rolling the dice a little bit. Why not roll that dice? And again, I have him with the power advantage on paper, so... He may be able to land something. And it looks at this point that Creed, you know, he's content with just being on that outside. Nice shot. Nice little shot there to the gut. Good head movement. He's frustrating Lang, isn't he? Definitely frustrating him. Forcing Lang. It's almost like he's trapping him, like trying to get him. To kind of fight inside and then backing away and then throwing that jab just like that. Even though it didn't land. He's doing a nice job. Oh, oh, he had an opportunity right there to land a power shot, but he missed it. And here we go, people. We are moving on to round eight. 
And Lala, wow. Creed with a clean sweep right here in terms of the rounds. So if that got posted in the arena and I'm in Lang's corner, man, you got to go down with your shield, in my opinion. Go down with your shield. There, There's a big shot right there that missed. But he definitely needs to do that. Go down on his shield. Try to land something. And when I made uh, Clever Lang, I also made him... I swayed him more as a dirty fighter compared to a clean fighter. So maybe throw a Johnson shot. Huh? Or throw a headbutt. Try to force Creed off of his game. Oh, big <laughs> shot right there. <laughs> but Clubber ate it. And he's still firing right back. Seems like what we're seeing here. Oh, I was going to say, there's more action. And down goes Lang. <laughs> oh, he was opening up. But that kind of left him wide open for a shot right there. Oh, and down he goes. Is he going to get up? He's moving early, which is a good sign. Oh, he gets up. Gets up like nothing happened. And again, this is where things are crazy. Because if the AI Apollo starts going nuts with the shots, he may get hurt as well. <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> oh. But again, you got to give it to Apollo using that long torso to avoid those shots. Leaning back. And I like what Clubber's doing right here. He gets knocked down, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to march forward. Oh, nice. That was his best shot in I don't know how many rounds right there. Great counter shot. And again, he's loading up with that straight, trying to dig deep. Oh, but again, he can't be loading up from way out there. Just going to leave himself wide open for another counter shot. But Clubber is a gamer, isn't he? Look at him. Oh, nice straight right there. Good straight with some steam on it. And Oh, Apollo's looking to hug. You got to be so careful when you try to hug it out with your stamina low and you miss. You miss that clinch. Uh oh. Oh, nice. I don't want to say, but I was going to say Clubber showing the eye of the tiger. <laughs> Good job by Lang, man. Coming right back. Oh, good head movement. And again, all it takes is one big bomb. And things may change. And look at Creed. Creed's like, I've done enough this round. <laughs> He's done enough. He needs to relax. He needs to chill out. Oh, what a round. What a round. Let's go on to the next one. Here we go, round nine. I didn't think we'd ever get this far in this matchup, but that's how it is, man. That's how it is. You just never know what's going to happen. So again, are we going to see some more crazy reckless action? And that's what we were seeing. In that la there it is. Oh, big uppercut. Forcing Lang to kind of stagger a little bit, it looked like. That's what we're seeing early on here. Both guys opening up. Lang's got Creed in the corner. Is he going to do some damage? He's got to take advantage of this opportunity. <laughs> but look at him. Backing away. Just doesn't have the gas. Oh, big shot to the ribs right there. Oh, another shot. Down low. And I like what Creed's doing. Creed is mixing it up, man. He's not just being a headhunter. He's mixing it up. Going up high. Going down low. And I love, I love when Lang just puts that guard up and just marches forward. See that? Just marches forward. Looking to hit him up with a big shot. And again, I know I'm repeating myself, but if he could just land one big bomb. If he could land just one big counter, we have a new fight on our hands, people. We'll have a new fight on our hands. And again, Creed is exhausted as well. And isn't that the worst feeling? That's got to be the worst feeling when you're in a, in a fight. 
when you look at the clock you're exhausted and it says like two minutes and 30 seconds left or even a minute a minute in a fight could seem like an eternity oh a nice counter and that's always it's always sad to see when you're watching boxing when you're watching MMA and you see a fighter glance at the clock you know they're looking to um, get a break or find a way out Oh. This is crazy at this point. Oh. Both guys just can't seem to get their offenses going. That's how it is. Say what you want about this game being old. I really feel like when you put the AI against each other, it's pretty realistic fights that you get. You know what's so funny I was saying about looking at the clock? You know, it reminds me of, um, as this round is coming to an end, certain fighters who've used, you know, the, the arena screens or clocks f to their advantage. I'll never forget Roger Huerta. Remember Roger Huerta in the UFC? Where um, he was in a position where he was able to use his elbows. I, I believe his opponent kind of had his back. And um, he was using the screens to see which side his opponent was hiding his head. And he was using his elbows to kind of elbow behind him. But he was looking at the screens to see which side his opponent was on. It was very, very clever. And the commentators picked up on it too. They were like, Huerta is using the screens to see where his opponent is kind of burying his head in his back. And um, he was using his elbows to, to land and he was landing. It's pretty interesting. I can't remember who he faced. Let me know if you remember. Was it Pellegrino? I could be wrong. I don't wanna I don't wanna guess anymore, but yeah, it was interesting to see how they're using their resources in the ring and helping them in a live fight. Pretty clever. Let me know if you know any other fighters who've used the clock or, or the screens to help them in a fight. But here we go, we are in round 10 <laughs> this is <laughs> turning into quite the war man both guys at a certain oh oh big shot right there I'm surprised Lang is still standing but both guys have had their success rocking their opponents you know Lang getting dropped once oh nice shot right there we need more of that we need more of that if you're a Lang fan oh man it's funny because what we're seeing here, we're seeing Creed getting the advantage when it comes to becoming a counter fighter. And I would like to see kind of Lang waiting for Creed to open up with a big shot and then trying to counter. But it just seems like Apollo's the one that's kind of set the stage here, has um, set the pace, so to speak, of this fight. But again, like I said, you know, <laughs> fighting could seem like an eternity. And if you're in Creed's corner, or if you're... Oh, he's hurt him! There's still a lot of time left. And is Lang going to go down here? It just doesn't seem like Creed has the juice to finish the job. But he's doing so well with those counter shots. There's another one. Oh, and, and you're probably saying to yourself, you know, how tough did you make Lang? I made him pretty tough. I didn't make him super tough just because, I, like I said in the beginning, he's able to dish it out, but he's not the greatest at taking it in. But I made him pretty durable, man. Oh, <laughs> but not too durable to withstand that one. And what's Creed doing? Admiring his handiwork. He needs to march forward, but again, exhausted. And look at him. He's showing the respect, the power. Of Lang doesn't want to get in there and just get too reckless. Oh, oh, nice, good jab, and I'm telling you that Apollo jab has been the story of this fight, giving him the, uh, you know, the space to move around. That jab does create a lot of space, doesn't it? When you're able to let that stiff jab out there, creates that distance with your opponent. It's almost like a measuring stick as well, especially if you have that reach advantage. If you have that reach advantage, 
It's kind of a measuring stick. You know, you could hit your opponent, he can't hit you. And look at this, man. We are going now into the 12th. Sorry, not the 12th, the 11th. 11th round. And it's all Apollo. Putting on a clinic. Are we going to see a movie style finish right here? He's got to keep those hands up, though. He's kind of moving his head with the hands down. And that could be a recipe for disaster. Again, respect to, to Lang for getting rocked. I don't know how many times, but then not going down. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, he's got to mix it up. He's got to go to that body. Why not rock that body, baby? Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Remember that Justin Timberlake song? Rock that body. Oh, and but Creed's listening to that song. He's trying to go to that body as well. He's trying to finish this off. He's probably looking at Lang saying, what do I got to do to finish you, man? Giving you everything I've got here. And still... You're still standing, you're still blocking, you're still throwing punches, trying to finish the fight. And he's not out of it. You may think he's out of it, man. You may think, you know, Creed just needs to turn it up a couple of gears and this fight could be done, but you gotta be careful, man. You gotta be careful when you're dealing with a guy with power. It always reminds me when I'm facing Mike Tyson, online or offline. Gotta respect that power. Cause all it takes is one slip up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lang's trying to go with that hook. It's not happening. See, he, he's starting. Oh, nice. Good technical boxing right there. But he's starting his shots from way out. He's got to get inside. Maybe sidestep. There he goes. Block a punch, then go with an uppercut. Can't be throwing big bombs from way out. Nice. Use that footwork. Nice, but Creed is... As Creed's getting tired, it seems like he's become a little more technical than Clubber. Clubber is brawling it out. I did kind of make him a brawling style, you know. But it just seems like Creed is just looking to continue to bank these rounds. You know? He's had success. He knows he's up on the cards, but... The bad thing, though, is as a fighter, in my honest opinion, you can't be, you know, looking to just kind of coast to a decision man because if your opponent smells that you're doing that and they, if they have enough gas in the tank you know they're going to be coming at you do you hear what they hear what his corner said as i'm continuing to fast forward i don't want to make this video over an hour long but he's saying don't go toe to toe with them and this ai apollo is just doing a fantastic job isn't he just sticking to the game plan using good simple boxing being technical, not being a little flashy. Oh, again, oh, he ate an uppercut right there. But just staying the course. And if this were the movies, you know something wild would happen in this final round. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm hoping for something. I'm hoping for something. Oh, nice shot right there. Oh, good hook. But again, Clubber just needs to get in there, man. You know you're not going to win by decision. Oh, nice. There's a hook. But again, he just doesn't seem to have that steam on the punches to slow Apollo down. It even gets to the point, too, where you know you're losing the fight. But you just don't have enough gas in the tank. And you don't want to get hit with another bomb. And oh, there's another one. Oh my goodness. Creed having success here in this final round. Nice hook. Oh, 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 big shots. And a great combo to follow. 
Great combo to follow by Apollo. Yeah, you knew I was going to go there. <laughs> but we are reaching the final minute of this fight. The fight that I wanted to see during the Rocky movies. But now we're seeing it here. Just a fantastic back and forth battle. Even though Creed has the rounds banked, I really feel like it was a back and forth battle, especially in the beginning of this fight in the first five rounds. You know, Lang was doing a great job. But less than a minute left. Again, it, oh, there he goes. But the story of this fight is just the reach and the jab. Oh, but nice uppercut. He's got to open up a bit more, Lang does, doesn't he? <laughs> Now's his chance. Oh, there's a straight. There's another one. 30 seconds left. It looks like we're going to be going the distance in this fantasy matchup. Oh! I, I felt like if Paulo landed that one, this fight would have been done. This fight definitely would have been done. But here we go. The clapper is going to be sounded off right here. 10 seconds. Both guys standing there trying. Oh, nice uppercut. Great uppercut. And we have reached the bell. And we are going to a decision. And you know what's going to happen here. Apollo Creed securing the win with a fantastic performance. Both guys showcased great boxing, man. But again. The reach, the speed, the technicality of Apollo got him the W. But let me know your thoughts on this video and who would win if these guys had to fight. Oh, I know it's a fantasy matchup, but just put your fantasy hat on, man. Who would win if these two guys had to go at it? In this simulation, Creed gets a W, and it was a great fight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. But anyways, guys, I'll end this video. This is Ricky J. All the best. I'm out of here. Peace.